Our IP cameras here at CCTV Camera World come loaded with features and are backed by expert technical support. Our cameras are easy to connect to. After connecting the camera to your router, all you need to do is scan a QR code to start viewing live footage. Our IP cameras that support SD cards can also be used as standalone recording solutions. With the same smartphone app, you can access recorded video or picture snapshots. This means you don't need to purchase a network video recorder if you only need to record a few days. Any of our IP cameras can be used as a standalone security camera. This allows them to be viewed from anywhere in the world where there is an internet connection. Keeping an eye on your home or business is extremely convenient with our cameras. Motion and smart detection rules can trigger push notifications and alerts straight to your iPhone or Android smartphone. Continue watching for a detailed demo of how easy it is to access one of our 4K IP cameras. Here we already have the app installed on our company iPhone, so I'm going to go ahead and open the app. Here we can see we already have the camera added via the P2P method. If we wanted to pull up the live view from this camera, we would click the all button on the camera. It would pull that camera up in live stream mode. If I wanted to pull up the playback from the camera from this screen, I would select the movie reel icon at the left hand side. That would bring me to the playback screen and pull up the SD card recording from this camera. I can swipe my timeline to fast forward in the timeline. And here you can see I have a picture in picture view of the current live view of the camera and I've accessed the SD card from the camera. You can also access the playback screen by going back to the main menu and tapping the playback button. Here you can hit the device list at the top right hand side or the plus icon in the middle of the grid. So I'm going to tap on my SD card cam and tap on IPPTZ camera. It's going to pull up my camera again and again I can swipe on the timeline to pull up the timeline and take a snapshot with the left button that's going to save a snapshot to my iPhone. I could record the video to my iPhone by pressing the camera button. I could tap it again to stop the recording. I could click the scissors icon and press the play button to export a clip by clicking play and then clicking stop. And it's going to ask me if I want to record, download the recorded clip, and I'm going to click OK. It's going to download that clip from your SD card on your IP camera. And then at the top of these controls, you can see there is a pause button, there is a stop playback button, there is a playback speed button. If this camera had audio, we could listen to the audio by tapping the speaker icon, or we can click the last icon to change it into full screen landscape mode. To get back out of landscape mode, I'm going to tap the camera screen or simply position my camera in portrait mode. In this part of the video, we're going to show you how easy it is to quickly pull up your security camera with SD card using Smart PSS software on a Windows-based PC. It's also available on a Mac as well. So here we have the program open. We're going to go to playback. As you can see here, we have the SD card cam. We're going to make sure we check that. You can see down here there is record and picture. Picture also stands for snapshots. We have several snapshots also recorded on here, but we're more so concerned about record at the moment. So we're going to click here. Now there's all sorts of recording types, but we know we have a good a general recording and we can leave this on all record. And then you can choose mainstream or substream. And then we're going to choose yesterday because I know I have some good footage for yesterday. You have to choose a 24 hour span here. It automatically sig selected the beginning of the 20th to the end of the 20th and we'll click search. You can zoom in using the mouse wheel. I know I have some good footage here around 4 o'clock so we're going to click here on our timeline and this brings up the playback. We can see the trees rustling and some cars moving in the background. We can click the stop button to stop playback. Then we're going to bring up the snapshots so we're going to come back over here to click picture and we make sure to go back and select our camera and click search for the same period of time. And this will pull up the SD card photos and snapshots that are stored on the SD card. We can click next to move through these or you can use the autoplay feature here on the bottom right. You, make, you can enable that and then it'll play and cycle through these snapshots every two seconds. Thank you for watching.